We chose two sticks of one gigabyte Corsair XMS2 RAM for our computer for a total of two gigabytes. We did this for a couple of reasons. First of all, if you're running Vista and we're planning on running uh, Vista Home Premium, you don't want anything less than two gigabytes. Second, if we have two sticks of RAM, we have the option of dual channel memory architecture, which helps out a lot in terms of the computer's efficiency and the memory speed. These are the bays that the RAM is going to go into. We're going to put our two one gigabyte sticks in the blue bays, which signify that those are all part of the dual channel system that we're using. So to put the memory in there, you first need to open up these white levers on the side. And you're putting in the RAM, just line up the notch in the RAM chip with the bar in the RAM bay. And then push it gently into place, and when it's correct, you will see the levers fly up and you'll hear them click. Then repeat with the second chip. And you're done with the RAM. This is the fan and heat sink assembly for our Intel processor. This is very important. If you are trying to run a high speed uh, dual core processor without this, you could be in serious trouble. And I am saying that from experience, so be very careful. If you are pulling this right out of the box, you're using it for the first time, it will have on the bottom here, where the fan touches the processor, some pre-attached thermal grease, which helps dissipate the heat that comes off the processor. Because we've used this fan in the past, that stuff is not here. So the first thing that we need to do before we apply this to the processor is reapply the thermal grease to make sure that we are not going to start any fires. This is the thermal grease that we're going to be using on our computer today. It's Arctic Silver, but there are a lot of different brands. It doesn't cost too much, and it's really good to have around if you build a lot of computers and you want to make sure that you're never going to have any heat problems come up. When you're putting the thermal grease on your processor, just apply a very, very small dab right in the center. When you're putting the fan in, make sure that the name of the company that made the fan is visible and out so that you can read it easily. Then you'll see that this fan has posts that are going to fit into the holes around our processor. So place it down gently and try to get those posts into the hole. Not necessarily going to be easy, but it's very important to do. Once they are all in, we're going to plug the fan into the fan connector on the motherboard, which is right here. Now, the complicated part of all this is getting the fan attached to the motherboard. So we're going to Push down on one of these corners until it clicks. Push down on another one until it clicks. Then do the same with the other corners. Just press down on each of the posts and gently rotate them until it clicks into place. And once you do, the fan will be nice and secure. Our graphics card is a Sapphire X1650 Pro uh, that supports the ATI Radeon chipset, which is different from the NVIDIA chipset. They're two of the most popular graphics card manufacturers. This is, an, this is a PCI Express X16 card, which means it fits into one of the expansion slots at the back of the computer. To put the card in there so that we'll be able to hook our monitor to one of these connectors, connectors here, we need to remove one of the slot covers from the back of the computer's rear panel, which you can see right here. And to do that, we have to go back inside. This rear panel slot has a bracket here that you just have to lift up, Oops. and then very carefully slide out the panel and remove it from the case. This is the PCI Express X16 slot right here that the graphics card will go into. You'll notice it has a little lever here on the right side. Just make sure that that's in the down position before you start, otherwise the card will not go in properly. To get the card in there, slide the top in a little gap there, 
and then line up the gold connectors in the card with the ones in the slot and push it down like that. 